Jerry of the circus. Jerry of the circus. Hi there, Jerry. Johnny Bradley was looking for you. He was? Well, thanks. Come on, Ray. You better see what Mr. Bradley wants. Where was he? He just passed this way. Came from the post office, I think. It looks uh, like he was heading for uh, the office wagon. Okay, I'll, I'll try and find him. Come on, Ray. May as well walk that way as any other. Uh, hi, Spike. Good morning. What are you doing? Heard Mr. Bradley wants to see me, so I'm looking for him. As a matter of fact, uh, what you doing around here? Aren't you helping Murray put up the canvas? Oh, I sure am. But Murray sent me on an errand. Yeah? Yeah. We was all kidding back there, and he said I wasn't working hard enough, so he let me get the key to the main top this morning. Uh, I guess Red usually does that for him. Key to the main top? I never heard of it. Well, sure, so they, uh, so they can put up the canvas. Well, that's a new one on me. Where is it? Did you get it? Well, what does it look like? Well, I, I don't know. I never noticed it. Oh, I did hear Red saying something about it the other morning. Well, I'm on my way to the blacksmith's now. I guess I better hurry or Merle will ball me out for a waste of time. I may drop around later. I want to see what it looks like. Golly, imagine being with a circus this long and never hearing about the key to the big top. Well, you can't learn everything at once. Well, I'll be seeing you. Yeah. Well, come on, Reg. Ah, oh, gee, it's a swell day to be out, isn't it? Huh? I'll say it is. See, there's Mr. Bradley now heading to the office wagon. Hey, Mr. Bradley. Yes? Oh, it's you, Jerry. Oh, I was asking about you. Yeah, that's what someone said. Uh, did you want something? Well, yes, but I hardly know how to tell you about it. Say, it, it's nothing serious, is it? I'm afraid it is, Jerry. Well, I guess you'd better just come right out and tell me then, like it wasn't important. I hate to upset you, Jerry, but I... Well, I hated to do anything about this without first telling you. Me? Have I done something? Am I going to get in trouble about Splendor? What do you mean? You know, when I went into the ring last night and got hold of Splendor and wrote him out. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Oh, no, no, that's nothing to do with this. As a matter of fact, you did a pretty level-headed job with Splendor. We were talking about it at breakfast. You were? Who is? Mr. Randall and I. Gee, he wasn't sore then? I should say not. Far from it. You quite saved the day. It was a plucky thing to do. Golly, I'm sure glad Mr. Randall thinks so, but... It just seemed natural. I couldn't help it. Golly, you can't let a little coat like Splendor get into trouble, can you? Indeed not. Besides, Splendor sort of belongs to me. You know, I'm training him. Next to Rags, he's my best animal pal. I'm ashamed of myself letting you talk just because I haven't the nerve to tell you what I've discovered. Oh, of course. I, I forgot you were going to tell me something. Uh, Jerry, you remember that picture we saw in the post office one day? Picture? Oh, yeah, I remember the post office and rewards for criminals? That's it. You remember when you looked at one of them, you said he looked like someone you knew. Yeah, I guess I did. He was an escaped convict or something, wasn't he? Yes, Jerry, he was. Well? You remember me saying one night in the mess tent that I thought I knew who that man might be? Yeah. Well, Jerry, I'm now certain that that escaped convict is with this circus. Oh, no, you, you can't mean it. I'm afraid I do. 
Oh, there there must be some mistake, Mr. Bradley. And I wish there were. But uh, I've just been to the post office in this town. It's the first time I've been able to find one of those pictures again. Oh, who do you think it is, Mr. Bradley? I'm afraid it's your friend. But... Oh, no, I'm sure you're wrong. Why, it, it just couldn't be. Why not? Well, he's only just joined us. We don't know anything about him, except that this is the first time he's ever worked for a circus. Yeah, I guess he did say that, but Mr. Bradley doesn't look like that man. That man's got a bald head. No, that man's head was shaved, Jerry. They always do that to convicts in prison. Yeah, but Spike's head isn't shaved. How do you know? Have you seen it? Well, I don't know. Come to think of it, I, I guess I haven't. He's always got that old cap pulled down. That's exactly it. He's got it pulled down so we can't see a huge scar which is in the back of his left ear. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Jerry. I was afraid you'd be upset about this. I remember hearing you say you'd gotten him this job and... Yeah, I, I was kind of proud of him, but, but Mr. Bradley, gee, he almost saved my life. That time I nearly fell off a splendor. I know, son. Criminals can be brave men, too. But after all, it isn't safe to let them around loose. When a man is desperate enough to break jail, he's too desperate to allow around law-abiding citizens. Why, I'm afraid I'll have to report him. That's why you're going into Mr. Randall's office, huh? Yes, my boy. Now try not to be too upset about this, Jerry. Gee, I, I hardly know what to say. Yes, I'd better... Guess Rags and me will take a little walk. Yes, that's right. Take a nice long walk, and by the time you get back, this unpleasant business will be all over with. You going to tell Mr. Randall? Yes, Jerry. It's the best way to handle the situation. Yeah. Well, guess Rags and me will get going. Bye. Goodbye, Jerry, and try not to feel too bad about this. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Come on, Rags. We're going for a walk. <coughs> Golly, Rags, I, I don't know what to do. <coughs> Gee, he's a friend of mine, and, and yours too. Well, golly, what can we do? Well, we'll just hang around, and if we get a chance to talk to Spike, I think maybe we'd better say something. <laughs> hey, what's going on over there? That's funny. The minute ball stopped working. That's not much like Mr. Murray. Golly, he keeps them at it till the canvas is all up. Someone else can't have found out about Spike. He's a greenhorn, all right. <laughs> yeah, first of May is right. Oh, Murray. <laughs> well, hello there, Jerry. Well, kid, you got here just too late. You missed one of the best first of May performances <laughs> I've seen in a long time. <laughs> this isn't the first of May. You forget the boy's not much more than a first of Mayor himself. <laughs> Golly, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's all right, Jerry. The men have got to have their little joke. Yeah, but the joke must have happened before I got here, the way everyone was laughing. I say it did. It's about Spike. Spike? Golly, it, it can't have happened yet. It sure has. We got to initiate all our first of May men. Gee, you people don't make sense. Murray, what do they mean by the 1st of May? Well, you see, Jerry, when a fellow joins the circus for the first time, he's a greenhorn or a 1st of May. But why? Well, the show starts out the 1st of May. So when an outsider comes into our business, we always call him the 1st of May. At least until he gets wised up to our ways. Oh, I see. Yeah, guess I am still one. At least I'm still learning plenty around here. Golly, why... I didn't know until just a little while ago you had a key to the main tent. <laughs> Say, Jerry, how'd you find out about that? Yeah, it's supposed to be a secret. Uh, don't let them kid you, Jerry, like they just kidded me. Ah, oh, Murray, what's this all about? Well, you better get Spike to tell you. What is it, Spike? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Jerry. These guys have all been ribbing me about that key to the main top. How do you mean? Well, you remember how I told you I was going over to the blacksmith? for the key? Yeah. Well, when I got there, the blacksmith told me he had to had do some more work on it, and he had to give it to the watchman, who was taking it to the handyman in the lot. Golly, they kind of kept you chasing, didn't they? <laughs> I'll say they did. Well, I found the handyman, and he said he'd given it back to the watchman. Well, then I finally found him, and he said he'd taken it back to the blacksmith. And then the blacksmith said he'd just sent it over here. And I just got back now, and, well, that's why they're all laughing, so. Well, where is it? After all that fuss, I, I'd kind of like to see it myself. <laughs> <laughs> see, what's so funny about that? Well, well, that's just the point. I asked the same question, and there isn't any key. What? No, it's just an old circus gag to send a new guy around after a key to the main top. 
then there never was any key? Well, I never saw it, but I sure looked hard for it when I was a punk and the older men sent me after it. Me <laughs> too, and they let me look for it for about three hours once. <laughs> Gee whiz, <laughs> that sure is a good gag, all right. Well, I'll say it is, even if I am the goat. Now, you're a good sport, Ike, Spike, the kind of fellows that we like to have around. Well, men, back to work. Okay, okay boss. All okay, hands boss. back to work. We gotta make up for lost time. Step on it, boys. Okay. Say, uh, Murray, I gotta see Spike just a minute. I'm sorry, Jerry. We gotta make up for lost time. But, gee, this is important. Well, it's important to get this tent up, too. All right, fellas, hop to it. Golly, I, I don't want to be a nuisance, Murray, but I just gotta see him. Well, you just have to wait, son. You'll be through with this job pretty soon, and then you can visit. Well, I'll be leaving you. Business comes first around here. Yeah, I guess it does. Ah, oh, gee, Rag. Now what are we going to do? We wasted a lot of time talking about that key. For a minute, I even forgot about the trouble Spike's in. We just got to see him. Come on, let's walk around where he's working. Maybe we can get just a word with him alone. Spike. Hey, hey, Spike. Yeah? Oh, oh hello there. Uh, come here a second. Well, I got to finish this first. It, it's awful important. Please, quick. Just behind this wagon. Oh, but Murray said He's that... on the other side now. He won't miss you. It's a matter of life and death. For heaven's sake, Jerry. What's eating you? You want me to lose my job? No, that's what's wrong. Ah, oh, gee, please. Just a minute. Okay. I hope you don't get me into trouble. Everyone's so nice to me here, I, I'd hate Quick. to... Quick. Duck behind this wagon. Oh, you're the beatingest kid. Now, what's on your mind? Yeah, I don't know how to tell you. Well, be quick about it. Murray will be back here pretty soon, and I want to be on the job. Yeah, well, you see, it's like this. Come on, get going, Jerry. Well, you know, say, Spike, will you take your cap off? Say, what's this all about? What you talking about? Geez, Spike, it, it's just because I, I like to know that... Oh, what's on your mind? Well, someone thinks they recognize your picture. Yeah? What picture? Well, in the post office. There, I, I said it. Yeah, well, well, what of it? Then it is your picture. The one on the poster. Oh, who told you about it? Well, Johnny Bradley saw it a long time ago. And then when he met you, he thought he remembered, but he wasn't sure till we landed here. Yeah, go on. Well, then this morning he went over to the post office, and now he says he's sure. So he just now told Mr. Randall, and I guess they're going to tell the police. Do you know, Jerry, what it means to help an escaped convict? No. Well, it, it means prison, and well, it's mighty serious. Golly, I... Gee, but I... I couldn't help telling you, even if it is maybe too late. 